Hi gang, we're the Bittersweet Gamers. This is Cutscene. We're picking back up. I'm We Squared. I'm the Opinionator. And I hate it when a cutscene interrupts our episode flow. Flow. Yeah. Have you seen so any of these things guys before? Been doing? No, not that I know of. Well, George was gone for a few minutes. But that raincoat is a little odd. It's just like odd. the one that, that we have. where it rains so much? At yeah. the station. Well, the people here rarely go out in the rain. For some reason! I moved here during high school. Oh, okay, here we go. I oh. really understood why. Can you shed some yes, light on George. this, George? Yes, George. Oh, it's an ancient oh. mystical Rose. tradition. Yeah, you're right! I was right! right. <laughs> I was right! Folklore. It's a fairy tale to me. Something about a killer in a raincoat who appears on rainy nights. And everybody in town takes it seriously. This is killer in a bright red raincoat. What a coincidence! That's the guy that I saw! Superstition. A rubbish story someone made up. That's even more suspicious. Not many people I still believe stories aren't open during But the I guess it's a traditional place. Most of the shops still close up when it rains. School's out. School's out too. Well, if there's some sort of raincoat killer. And since there's no reason to go out, not many people ever wear raincoats. Makes sense. And now the raincoat killer okay. has leapt out from his picture book. Oh, by the way, would you two kindly show me your backs? <laughs> oh, come on! <laughs> Our backs? There's no way that they're going to have a dang case. peace sign on their back. The person right. with the upside-down peace mark in that photo we found. That's obviously not a woman, York. He's our killer. That's what. That's exactly what it looked like. And what makes you so sure about that? Zack and I saw him kill Anna in the lumber mill. He killed her. Right in there. Are they going to ask oh how my he God, saw yeah, one he... thing? Please don't ask me about Zack. That's a private matter. <laughs> Remember, I'm insane, but I'm anyway, from the government and I'm here backs, to help. We can clear up most of my concerns about you. Isn't that for the best? You, uh, you do want to remove yourself from the suspect see, list. Uh, uh, deputy <laughs> Sheriff, or Vice Deputy. The goat died, Billy. Yeah, just put it to rest. Right. Insulting <laughs> and out of the question. <laughs> Emily is a female officer. Yeah. Forcing her to show you her back is harassment. I don't care if you're uh, he, he is right. Yeah, you there's no way it's her. The person in the picture mm. is oh, obviously a guy. Look at oh. his eyes. <laughs> George, it's okay. I don't mind Let's taking my clothes off for your... Over with. Emily, are you crazy? Look, we flash our backs and we're <laughs> trusting us a little more. Right? Agent York? <laughs> Am I making myself clear? Agent Morgan, she says... <laughs> And then he's just like, oh yeah. <laughs> we're playing the hero, right? I think we're playing the killer. <laughs> there was no reason for this. It was obvious that the person in the picture was a guy. Well, are you satisfied now? Very. <laughs> if I saw the picture correctly, which I may not have. Now you, George. It looked like the person had blonde hair. Yeah, yeah, okay. Or maybe. Maybe you can't refuse it now, brown, can I? Uh -huh. hair. But I could have but seen the picture wrong. They're only up on the screen time. for a short period of time. Agent. But yeah. by the time you guys seen it, I'll have had a good ch a chance to look at it good and long. <laughs> oh yeah, looking at backs. That's my finish. <laughs> <laughs> huh? George. Whoa. Holy! What are these scars? I mean, Just like your Mister Zach. Something private. I mean, we did notice that Scar. I don't have face. to tell you about it. Of I... course. Just like Zach. You know, I really like George. I do too. He's pretty much. We my can understand that, right, Zach? I, like <sighs> I said before, anyway, I'm a sucker for characters like that because, because I'm really a little more similar to them. <laughs> uh, pretty much off the hook. Not that I have all these scars in my back, and we promise. Thank you for your or cooperation. Or that neither is true. Ha! Looks if like York got a... suspicious. Yeah. Yes! <laughs> yes! We're still not he's gonna not gonna assume that no, by the end of the game York so. will not have been the killer the whole time. But he certainly is the most <laughs> We've studied the crime scene. You know what we have to do next, Zach. First George. Can we arrange to have the town really? gather in one place? What is, like what is this? Some sort of mass town, town porn thing going on? <laughs> Very well. Hey. I'll arrange to have as many as possible gathering Did something community like this centers happen tomorrow. in Twin Peaks? Yes. Thank you, George. <laughs> you really had to ask? 
Just waiting for the confirmation. Billy saw it way more recently than I did. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. I'm in the money. My skies are sunny. I gotta... Why are you giving me that look, Damon? I was waiting for you to go to the rest of the song. I actually don't know how it goes after that. I only ever heard those first bits on Looney Tunes myself. Ha, huh, me too. Welcome back, everyone. Thanks, Andy. Uh, Thomas. Or Thomas. Agent well, we were, just, it. we were just talking 21. about Twin Peaks. Let's meet up again at the community center tomorrow. I haven't been sleeping much since this all started, to be honest. I've Today, been sleeping in other dimensions. I was just about to suggest the same thing. Oh, you can tell that you're at least saved. I'll too. make arrangements oh, wow. for people to gather between 1500 and 1700. Aha! So that means I'll we can mess around if we want. Can, <laughs> okay, don't be late. I'll be there. I wonder what we should do. The community center's on the south side. I don't side. know. I've marked it on your map. Thanks, Thomas. Well, He's uh, so helpful. See you tomorrow. Apparently, you can replay old dungeons. Yay! Yeah, we're not going to be doing that. No, we're not, not one bit. <laughs> but we have been trying to figure out what we're actually going to do next. And so we noticed that there's a trading card over there. And a race course nearby. And so you either have to go inside the lumber mill and, like, slide all the way down. Which hopefully not. Or maybe it'll be like with the racing. So we're going to go drive. Very good, Billy. Very I good. I am the master. Here we go. Another racing course. I'm so excited. I like these. I don't know what you're talking about. I said I was excited. Yeah, I believe you. <laughs> in all in all seriousness, our game just crashed and we had to replay through part of that last bit again. It was quite annoying. Mind you, I, I did appreciate the chase sequence with the killer... I actually do like those uh, QTE segments, uh -huh, uh -huh. and I really, I also appreciated how you could see the killer's perspective throughout mm -hmm, the whole chase, mm -hmm. but it's still, like, I think it was a good idea, I just think it wasn't implemented Ooh. that well. Oh yeah, and since we had to reload stuff. This is how you screw yeah. it up entirely. This Fair is how you screw it up <laughs> entirely. <laughs> Oh, great, I mean, <laughs> we, we get to do it again. Okay, no, what happens is you drive the car through and start smashing all the fences, and that's how you can get to the trading card. This game always has good ideas, and this game always has questionable implementation. Yeah. It's fine, I got it. It's fine. All right, who's it going to be? But Sally. Dancing! Dancing under the sun! <laughs> <laughs> He's so nuts, says York. Damon? Yes? There's a fly buzzing around me. Well, I guess we did get Stinky Agent. Uh -huh. It's in the car. I love it. <laughs> ah, home sweet temporary home. Polly, I'm home. <laughs> I love how the best thing we figured out is that if you run at a door and open it, you just bust it through, and you don't have to deal with that, like, 45-minute-long <laughs> York slowly opens the door. So we're going to change our clothes, and we're going to do our laundry. We're going to shave. No, we shave in the morning. We're going to yeah, eat yeah. something. We're going to take a shower. And this is called a video game and not real life. <laughs> Okay, so we know this one is dirty because we've worn it through some dungeons. Mm -hmm. Man, those interdimensional laundry services are bupkis. I wonder if that's why it's taking 19 hours for it to get it cleaned. Or, you know, a suit has to go to a dry cleaners. Ah, good point. So good interdimensional point. dry cleaning imps. Mm. But where do you get them back from? We need to go buy new clothes. Can you do that? We've never had access to the stores. Yes, you're right, and I'll just go with the Mr. Rogers look for now. All right, come on, Fred Rogers. It's a beautiful day in the neighborhood, a beautiful day for a neighbor. Would you be mine? Could you be mine? I don't know why I went all Irish there for a second. That was really odd. Okay, we gotta get coffee. My health is slowly decreasing. Eat, eat something! <laughs> <laughs> Man. Oh, look at the spread. There's no breakfast option. That's... Kind of disappointing. Oh, well, let's get our, co our fortune told in the coffee. Okay, what are we going to get? <laughs> oh, it smells so good. The bouquet. <laughs> <laughs> yes! 
So my lucky number is three today. The first case I worked after joining the FBI had three victims. I no 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 mm. no no no. Think before acting. <laughs> that is that is our fortune. Think before <laughs> acting. It is something that I I probably overthink things, so I always think before acting. In fact, I probably don't act enough. I'm so busy thinking. <laughs> I I'm gonna go seek help. <laughs> Excuse <laughs> Why, Miss Polly, I had no idea you had ten mils here in stock. Dude, where is my car? Seriously now, it always goes away when I come out of somewhere. <laughs> Man, you must be one of those guys that always has to park right in front of, of like, the grocery store. You know, spend 30 minutes hovering around, like, the, the entrance. So we've got oodles of time, so we're going to go check out the diner. I knew it! I knew it! Uh, let's just take a look. Why is the diner not open at 7.30 in the morning? Right? It's like you go to a Jimmy's Egg, which... I don't know where else you find those. I mean, obviously we have them in Oklahoma. Yeah, there's one attached to the There's all over the place hotel. around here. Yeah. But, you know, they're not even open open past 1 p.m., but by gosh, 6 in the morning, and... I can see you. We are going to be loitering outside this place till we can get in. We're not ending this episode till we've gotten a meal at the diner, darn it. <laughs> diner denizens, I demand that you deliver a dearth of delectable devourables. Immediately. <laughs> you know, dearth means a lack of. There is a when when there is a dearth of food, there's no food. Oh, so te um, technically, since they're closed, they're doing that right now. Then I'm in the correct. <laughs> well done, Billy. Hey, look! It really does close at one, just like I said. Oh, how interesting! And it opens at nine. Just Go like in <laughs> the diner and eat the food. If you loiter out here for one second longer, I'm going to wring your sorry neck. Okay. Don't mind me, citizens. Official FBI business. Somebody left this tr official Red Seed Murders trading card on the ground of <laughs> coffee. I'll take that and a smooth $200 from selling it on eBay. Excuse me, I'd like to order food. Hey, I'm working here. You can't just stroll into a chef's kitchen. Then perhaps you would give me your permission to enter. I oh, mean, how do we order food response. regardless? Get the hell out of here. <laughs> Zach, everyone has their own sanctuary. I, I'm, I'm with him. In his. Well, I guess we'll have to eat at the beginning of the next episode, because by God, we are out of time. So, goodbye, everybody. And if Billy tries to loiter and waste any more time than we already have, then I'll kill him. So if he's not here in the next episode, assume he died. Help me.